Hello, dear learners. Welcome you to in this session. This is your Mr. D. Misra sir. In this session, we will discuss some trigonometric identities. This session will help you to enhance your knowledge. So let's get a start now. On your screen, you can see that the topic today I have taken fundamental trigonometric identities, right? So you can see on the screen fundamental trigonometric identities. First identity I am going to take that is you know very well arc identities. Here arc tan theta always equal to tan inverse theta. That is the first arc sin theta is equal to sin inverse theta. Arc cos theta is equal to cos inverse theta. Right? The next one you can see on your screen that is cosent and reciprocal identities. Right? What is cosent identities? We are very familiar about that. Tan theta is equal to the ratio of sin theta and cos theta. We can write sin theta by cos theta. And the cosine identity second cot theta is equal to ratio of cos theta and sin theta. It can be write in the form of rational number cos theta by sin theta. Reciprocal identities cos x theta always inverse of sin theta. Reciprocal cancel. It is written C S C, right? Equal to one by sin theta. Sec theta equal to one by cos theta, and cos theta equal to one by tan theta. This is very important. Dear, in trigonometry, cosine identities refer to prime identities that are divided by each other. There are two quotient identities that are crucial for solving problem dealing with trigonometry. Those being for tangent and cotangent. Cotangent, if you are unfamiliar with it, it is the inverse or reciprocal identity of tangent. Right? So, you can see next co-function identities. It is also very important. You see first cos cos in bracket pi by 2 minus u. You can take theta. You can take alpha. Right? Doesn't matter. So cos pi by 2 minus u equal to sin u. Sin of u, can, you can say that. That means cos of 90 degree minus angle u equal to sin of angle u. Sin of pi by 2 minus u, u is an angle equal to cos of angle u sin nine sine of 90 degree minus u equal to cos of angle u tan of angle pi by 2 minus u equal to cot of angle u it can be write in the numerical form tan 
of angle 90 degree minus u always equal to cot of angle u. Cot of angle pi by 2 minus u equal to tan of angle u. Cot 90 degree minus u equal to tan u. You can read like this. Sec of angle pi by 2 minus u equal to cosec of angle u that is sec, 90 sec of angle 90 degree minus u always equal to the cos x of angle u. Cosec of angle pi by 2 minus u equal to sec of angle u and cosec 90 degree minus u equal to sec, sec of angle u. Dear learners, co-function identities co uh, are trigonometric identities that show the relationship of complementary angle and trigonometric functions or ratio between sine and cosine, tangent and cotangent and second and cosecant. We know that the sum of the angles of a triangle are 180 degree, right? Now, next. Even odd functions. All functions, including trigonometric functions, can be described as being even, odd, or neither. A function is odd if and only if f minus x is equal to minus fx and is symmetric with respect to the origin. A function is even if and only if f minus x equal to fx and is symmetric to the y axis. It is helpful to know if a function is odd or even when you are trying to simplify an expression when the variable inside the trigonometric function is negative. Sine of minus x is always equal to minus sine x. Cosec of minus x always equal to cosec x. Cos of minus x always you get cos x. Sec of x minus x always you get check it. 10 of minus x always we get minus 10x that is equal to and 10 of minus x always equal to minus cot x. I hope you understand this. Next. Pythagorean identities. Each of them can be written in different forms by algebraic operation. That is, each Pythagorean identity can be written in three forms as follows. Sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. It can be generate the next formula you can say that. That is identity also. 1 minus sin square theta equal to cos square theta. You transpose cos square theta to the right and we get 1 minus sin square theta equal to cos square theta. Also we can transpose the sin square theta to right hand side and we get 1. So 1 minus cos square theta equal to sin square theta. Sec square theta minus 10 square theta equal to 1. Sec square theta equal to 1 plus 10 square theta. Sec square theta minus 1 equal to 10 square theta. Cosec square theta equal to cot square theta equal to 1, cosec square theta equal to 1 plus cot square theta, cosec square theta minus 1 always equal to cot square theta. Here also you can see it is a very important you should keep in mind and you go through that it will help in the, your problem solving. Now angle sum and difference identities. Sine of alpha plus beta always sine alpha cos alpha product plus cos alpha and sine beta product. Sine of alpha minus beta equal to sine of alpha cos of beta product minus cos of alpha 
and sign of a beta product. You can see here cos alpha plus beta equal to cos alpha cos beta product minus sin alpha and sin beta product cos alpha minus beta cos alpha and cos beta product plus sin alpha and sin beta product sin alpha plus beta uh, sorry tan alpha plus beta equal to tan alpha plus tan beta divided by 1 minus tan alpha and tan beta product tan alpha minus beta equal to tan alpha minus tan beta 1 plus tan alpha into tan beta mainly six sum and difference identity of sine function cosine function and tangent function this is the points which required to keep in mind the angle sum and difference identities help us to evaluate the value of trigonometric functions at angles which can be expressed as the sum or difference of special angles like 0 degree 30 degree 45 degree 60 degree 90 degree and 180 degree Right? So next, double angle identities. Sine of 2 theta always give 2 sine theta into cos theta. Cos of 2 theta always give cos square theta minus sine square theta equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1 that is 1 minus 2 sine square theta and 10 of 2 theta equal to the ratio of 2 10 theta and 1 minus 10 square theta that is 2 10, 2 10, 2 10 theta divided by 1 minus 10 square theta. Now next slide. Half angle identities, it is also very important. It is playing very important role in trigonometric problems. Sign of half angle angle would be theta, angle would be alpha, angle would be theta, whatever that, theta indicating angle. Sine of angle theta by 2, that is sine of half angle is equal to plus minus under root 1 minus cos theta by 2. Cos of theta by 2, that means cos of half angle equal to plus minus under root 1 plus cos theta by 2. 10 of theta by 2 yeah, that means 10 of angle half half angle equal to plus minus under root 1 minus cos theta by 1 plus cos theta it can be write like this one sin theta by 1 plus cos theta also it can write 1 minus cos theta by sin theta that means 10 of angle half equal to 1 minus cos theta by sin theta 10 of half angle equal to sin theta 1 plus cos theta and this one. Now next slide. Reduction formula you know very well. It is very familiar for us. Sin square theta we can write 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 cos square theta equal to 1 plus cos theta by 2 cos square theta equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 10 square theta equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta by 1 plus cos 2 theta sin 2 theta equal divided by 1 plus cos 2 theta 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by sin 2 theta now my dear learners uh, this one I will see in the next session. Until then, stay safe. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day to all of you.